there were tears and some surprise here in court as a judge denied a motion by lawyers for both girls to have their cases handled in juvenile court. In the end, he decided the case was simply too vicious. And he wants the courts to have control over the girls for a long time. It's 14 months now since the attack that shocked Waukesha and much of the country. Two 12 year olds, Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire, motivated, they say, by the horror character Slender Man, accused of stabbing their sixth grade friend 19 times and leaving her for dead. This was an effort to kill someone, not a mistake by hitting him too hard, not a mistake by pushing him too hard. This was premeditated uh, murder. An attempt to do so. And Judge Michael Boren, in his ruling, said trying the girls in adult court, assuming they're convicted, will give greater protection to the public and better treatment for the girls because he says they'll be under court supervision for perhaps decades instead of released unsupervised at age 18. Are you disappointed, obviously. Of course. Yeah. Do you worry about her care or what are you most worried about now? Um, her right now. She has a lot of questions she needs answered. She wasn't clear about what was going on, so I need to explain to her and we need to get over and meet with her. As he left court in tears, Morgan's father said the system is broken, that Morgan is just a little girl. I think if you guys think about it, you'll know what I'm right. What would you say to the judge in this case? Uh, he should have thought harder. Anissa Wire's lawyer went on to say they'll be discussing the possibility of an appeal. The victim's father here said they wouldn't be commenting, though the family did appear to be upbeat following this decision. At the Waukesha County Courthouse, Nick Ford, WISN 12 News. So here's what's next. Both girls remain in juvenile detention and will be back in court next week to enter a plea. No trial date has been set for either suspect. The girls could face a maximum of 65 years in prison if convicted as adults.